Hello Libra. It's time for your mid-June to July reading of this current year. Hooray! Congratulations! You survived another day in this cutthroat world. Known as... Well, technically the world. Um, wish fulfillment! Ooh, good! Because you guys have been having some shit going on with y'all. It seems like every time I read your guys' reading, I'm dealing with somebody who's just like... I don't know. It, like, I always get the feeling, you know, uh, the audacity. You know, like, I get that feeling with you guys sometimes. At least from the ones I pick up, anyway. Speaking of which, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it, because it's just a card game after all. And we shall get started. So, Libra. Six of Wands. Somebody went for a victory and they threw their wands in the air and hit everybody in the head with a wand, including yourself. Good deal. Or themselves. Doesn't have to be you. It could be Cross Watcher as well. Wants and wishes to sneak up on somebody who's getting their shit. Fears or rejections. Uh, lack of closure. Something that happens within the, um, the pentacles or the family. Nobody gets along anymore. Everyone curses out Aunt Jane because, like, she won't go home. Even though she's drunk and she can't go home and no one will give her a ride. Like, nobody likes each other. Um, the situation is the Five of Swords. Um, betrayal. Someone is stabbing someone with five swords and leaving them to bleed on the shore like that Seven Nation Army song. Because that's what happened to him. <laughs> well, not with little swords, but you know what I mean. Um... Obstacle and challenge coming against you. Trying to get out of a negative headspace. Trying to release yourself from that, finally. Ooh. The catalyst as well as the final result. What started this shit and what will end it is the Ace of Swords. Clarity. Truth. Because apparently the beginning of all this shit is illusions. Secrets. Could be dealing with the Pisces or a Cancer. Libras, right? Cross watchers of like, of course. Let's see. Ooh! A few cards actually came out. Let's see. Okay, so Libra, this could be you, but you might be trying to ride in silently, creepily, to work on something with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, who fell asleep on their horse on the way to journey, and the horse is just standing there sleeping too. Like, they're both sleeping. Just like, oh, you know what? Like, I'm just gonna nap right here. And here you come in behind them, working on things almost like on a spiritual kind of less thing. Whoa, what? Like, oh, like a memory. Like, working on a memory. Because this boy is watching his father work on this stuff. And behind that, you could be trying to work on yourself from what you've learned. From this sleeping person who just decided not to move forward with you. Okay. First card, Six of Wands, Reverse, um, let's see, we got the Seven of Wands Reverse, usually that deals with, um, oh he took my drink, damn it, okay, I can wait, um, Seven of Wands, what is that, like, keeping your defenses up, this is like, You prepared for a battle that was overwhelming to begin with. Like, right side up, like this. You can see he's got his Pugil 6. He's just like, I have all of these, so I am prepared for any sort of situation. But then it's just like, I was not prepared for any of the shit that I had just gone through. Um, what's that one song called? Six Seconds on All Sides by Aria. It's like a, it's kind of like a, she's kind of a club song. I don't, I don't know what you would call it, but it, lots of bass. 
Lots of techno. Wait, it's an it was actually in the um, second Matrix movie, I think, as part of a theme. And and then the song kind of consists of somebody being like, you know, like you're walking, buddy's running. You'll be catching up for miles. You know that kind of thing. It's just like you could train as well as you want, but you will never catch up to the person who you're trying to catch up for. And I think that's what the um, failure is with the six of wands. Not even a failure, honestly. It's just like someone didn't think something through when they threw up the wands, and that's why I hit him in the face so bad. Ooh, um, the situation down here. Someone betrayed somebody else because they were too busy deciding they didn't need to be fair to somebody. Or they didn't want to be fair to someone. Sorry, I'm writing something down. Okay. So yeah, this person who be, who did the traitorous stuff, right? Because I feel like it's them, because they're the ones in control. Like they, like this person who was in red, they had power, and this person took the power, and boom, now he's wearing red now, and like he's being the overlord of shit, being like, I get to control who does what. Everybody works for me. Right? But that became like, you know, A on their face and they were not prepared at all for the kind of confrontations and battles they would have to go through. Like, they, they did their best to suit up or whatever, but it was still like an overwhelming battle. Like, they didn't give up, but it was just like, eh. Yeah, like... Hmm. This is like, this is like, judgment call from the higher. Like everyone's naked facing their judgment call to be judged accordingly. Man, woman, and child. Something to do with this Empress Reverse right here, who is like upset, nettled, bitter, not her nurturing self, incapable of doing such, blah, 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 stuff like that. It's like, these people all come to be judged by this bitch. Which is just really weird. It's just kind of like, it, it, it could be someone's mother. I mean, she looks pleasant enough. Very calm. Very simple lifestyle. She, like, she doesn't even wear shoes. Like, none of them wear shoes, I think, either. So it really doesn't matter. But, um... She, in her dark-sided energy, is almost like playing the judge. Or the, or the person who will judge these three people. Okay. So, Six of Pentacles, Reverse. I feel like someone is sitting there watching another person get, like, um, their dues. Like, shit's coming in, and it's like they want to be a part of it. Or they feel as though, like, it's not fair because they put in so much work. They got one pentacle, and now they're watching this other person just, like, start getting somewhere. And it's making them a little bit jealous. Be like, hey, I want a part of this, too. Yeah, they're those motherfuckers who will be like, um... Hey, what you doing? You know, I have some really good ideas for your stuff. You know, like, don't hang out with people who do that, you know? Like, they're gonna come up and, like, all of a sudden have ideas, like, you're in business together when they've been around not one single damn day. And some days, like, they talk negative about your shit. Like, don't let those people come in. And I just screwed up on my cards. Yeah, don't let those people come in and, like, act like, you know, they're your friends. Because they're not your friends. You know. Tiffany, who said that your hair looks like nothing but raggedy-ass weed, is not your friend. Because, like, you're getting somewhere, you know? Like, don't let anybody do that to you. Now, if this is you, Libra, not another person who's, like, is starting to get thirsty for somebody who, um, is starting to get somewhere, I feel like, be careful. It's one of those, um, it looks good on the outside, but once you go inside... It, it could be a completely different environment. Like, yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, like, um, death card. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. They could be watching you, or they're saying your time is up. Like, it come with me. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> like, somebody's come in to try to murder someone's good time? I mean, that could be you, Libra, who's the one getting the blessing, and someone wants to come in from the behind and just murder that shit. Be all, like, vengeful and everything, but it's also kind of like, you know, if you're doing this, I think you're going to want to put an end to it, finally. <clears throat> but I'm wondering why it's so ominous looking, too, a little bit. Now, the obstacle and challenge come in against you with the Eight of Swords reverse, where you're trying to get out of this negative headspace. Um, this is the Queen of Swords. Um... You're a woman scorned, but you are a woman scorned who will not embarrass herself to get out of this headspace. That's what's going against you. Um, you'd rather stay cold and quiet than actually um, get out of this negative headspace. But it, but if if you're okay, if this okay, the person is in the negative headspace, he's got their back turned, which could be you, Libra, like. Queen of Swords is pretty much your card, but it doesn't have to be you. You could be dealing with another Libra. Cross Watchers, blah, this could be the way you're looking at it, too. You got your back turned to try to, like, keep your head space, like, in the negative because you just don't want to face this shit. But this shit needs to come to an end. Like, somebody needs to change, or maybe you saw that someone's actually changing. Or maybe you realize that this behavior is not good for you. And that's why you feel like you're a failure. Or you failed at something because you just weren't as prepared as you thought you were. Maybe those were the illusions and secrets you weren't aware of, right? Alright, so let's see. Ten of Pentacles reversed the fears and rejections like your home is all perfunkled. Like it's all nettled and out of whack and shit, right? Right. Ah, uh, go back. Okay. Four of Pentacles. It feels empty. I feel like. This dude just... Like, here, his house... Everything looks so inviting and, like, mesmerizing and interesting and intricate. But outside of his house, it's like barren and nobody lives there all the buildings are empty and it's just like you know like this house is no longer a home and someone's let their security issues about it like let it go to waste like it became very empty ace of swords as the catalyst as well as the final result what started this shindig and how it'll end with a hitch Woo! okay maybe it was too much okay well, you definitely want to come to some sort of decision, no matter how turbulent it is. You know, one or the other is going to just whack things up. But you keep staring over all of this, and you realize you have to go in and possibly do something. Like, you've been keeping, like, the fire up so you don't have to think about going back to this and thinking about it. And you're trying to move forward, but it's like... You like, you want to move forward, but in order to do that, you have to keep this flame constant. And the reason you have to keep this flame constant is because you don't want to think about this stuff. So it's kind of like a endless cycle right here. You want to move forward, but you can't move forward because you got to keep this thing up. You have to keep this thing up because it keeps your mind from wandering. Why does your mind keep wandering? Because it's a situation you don't want to deal with and you want to move forward. How do you move forward? You guys got to go for it, but that requires you turning this off. Why can't you turn this off? Because you got the four. It, it, it's like a, it's like explaining itself a little bit. And like someone has a lack of patience when it comes to some confrontation that isn't happening. Can be Sagittarius here. It could be two people dealing with each other as well. It could just be lack of uh, moral understandings and such. Or even spiritual communication. But it's like... Something is not happening with two people who are not even fighting each other. And someone is losing their patience over this. Um... Huh. 
This is weird, okay? So on this side, this looks like the old traditional, you know, kind of thing. Someone's walking away from the battle and still doing whatever, right? This one looks like somebody bested somebody. Like this dude, like, fell to his knees in defeat. Well, this one just stands there looking over like, you know what, that ocean looks really cool. Like, maybe we can just, just go together with it. I am in anguish. How dare you, like, just make a mockery of this. But I love Sea Taffy. You know, like, it's like there was a clarity that someone beat somebody else. And that person doesn't even look like they broke a sweat while the other person looks like they're trembling and shit. Like, damn. That's pretty harsh, man. The ending theme. Justice card. Libras, this is your card. Justice is blind completely. Ooh. The back is very interesting. The back is where, like, she threw all of her understanding of just and righteousness away. Like, it was old version of justice. This is new justice. But no, we're sticking to the old ways because we're still under illusions and secrets. That could also be you, cross watchers. Let's, let's be clear, right? But yeah, this could be you. You might be dealing with legal shit, or you might be just stuck in your old ways because you still have illusions and stuff that you're trying to fight through. Like, you're still pretty much upset about your Three of Swords situation. Like, you're looking back on it, and you're still feeling the heartache. All the stabbings from when it went through your shield. There could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, Queen of Pentacles. Aw! She looks so fucking happy! I love that card! Like, that's actually the card for Capricorn, too. She looks so happy! And she's got a bird! She's got antlers! Like, I like her! I love this deck more and more. Like, it's so, it, like, I don't know. Like, I didn't know if I would really like this deck, but the more I'm using it, it's just like, hell yeah. I could totally vibe with this. Okay. I got two cards for you, but I'll give it to you. Okay, so this one is actually interesting. This is Five of Pentacles. This way and this way, you know? This is like someone is stuck waiting for someone to untie themselves while the person who's actually inside is trembling, worried about the person who's out here, like, probably having all the blood rush to their heads because these thieves just, like, are holding them up there being like, you know, like, eventually someone will pay a ransom for you. Meanwhile, this dude's just like, I wish I had their number. I don't know where they are. And these people don't even realize that this person's waiting for them. Like, I'm pretty sure this guy could get out at any time if he really wanted to try, maybe. But it's like he's hand-tied there. So that's yours for mid-June to July of this year. Libra, thank you for watching my video. If you want a personal view... Da, da, da. If you want a personal reading, my email is in the description box below. I don't charge, but I do take tips and donations through my PayPal, and that's also there as well. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. I love your face. Take good grace, and have a good day. Bye-bye.